Hello viewers, here is a Lakewood 18 inch high velocity fan. This is model HV-18C. There's the informations. It was made in the China, but fortunately it's still old enough to be a good quality. It draws 2.5 amps according to that tag and 2.4 amps according to the tag on the motor. It's got an 8 microfarads capacitor in there, which is a lot of microfarads for something like this. And according to the UL sticker, which is upside down, it was made in 1106. So it was probably purchased in the summer of 2007. This is an extremely important fan in my collection. One of the very few that I have spent a lot of money on. I paid a fortune for this thing to have it shipped in from halfway across the country. And the story behind this one is when I was in, I guess it would have been middle school. It was right around the time when I got a computer. Uh, and so I guess it was on the computer that I discovered this fan. At the time I had the HV4 and the HV9. And then I came across this one and I just had to have it. This was like my, my dream high velocity fan at the time. And I found out that one of the local hardware stores, I think it was Asus Hardware, had these fans. And so, and maybe I saw it at the store, I don't remember anyways. So I harassed my poor mother for one of these fans for months on end. And I forget what the occasion was, but the time came and she took me to the hardware store to get one. And I remember being having mixed feelings about the acquisition of it because this wasn't the one that I got. The one that they ended up having at the store which I got was the cheaper version of this, probably the last year it was ever sold, with the guard that looked like the guard on the HV9. It wasn't the circular guard that you're seeing on this fan. And so at the time I didn't know that it was lesser quality, so I really wasn't disappointed about that. Um, in fact, I was kind of interested in it a little bit more because it was a better match to the HV4 and the HV9 fans that I had at the time. But anyways, go forward, I don't know, 10 or 15 years, and I found the HV14 at a local flea market. And that's when I said, okay, it's time to complete the HV series. And so I, I spent a fortune on the HV-12 to get that one shipped in from somewhere in the world. And then I spent a fortune on this one to get this one shipped in from, I don't even remember where. But anyways, here it is at long last, the Lakewood HV-18, the version that I wanted. So, um, anyways, let's go ahead and plug this thing up and get it going. It's a pretty powerful fan. Um, I haven't really done a full restoration on this. It needs some help. The cord is pretty dirty. The motor's kind of dirty. The guard should be uh, refinished. But, uh, you know, it's all here with a little bit of work. It'll, it'll be usable again. I don't remember if I uh, ever even cleaned it late or not. Anyways, let's go ahead and plug this thing up and see what it can do. Uh, yeah, I was going to use the kilowatts meter here. Oh, jeez, the plug is open. What the heck? That's not even close to what it's supposed to be. Uh, it shows you how often I use this fee, and I probably haven't used this in two years. Because really the nostalgia lies in, in the cheap one. Okay, let's see if that works now. Much better. Okay, so we are testing at 118.7 volts. A little bit lower than usual. I think the air conditioner is running. That's probably drawing down the voltage. Go over to amps. And let's start off on low. I think this is going to blow over some things I have here. Let's 
and stuff. Okay, here's low. It does have a startup sound, so we'll capture those at the end of the video. It's in perfect balance, as you would expect from Lakewood quality. And uh, it's quite powerful. Something's a little rattly here, maybe the, the edge of Okay, so we are drawing 1.17 amps. Let's go to medium. And it went up to 1.19 amps. I think there's something wrong with the kilowatt meter. I should use a different one. And there's something rattling here. I don't know if this is just loose or what. I'm sure it can be fixed relatively easily. See, that's waffle. I don't know what that is. Oh, well, anyways, uh, let's go to high. That's drawing 1.85 amps according to the flaky kilowatt meter. hard to tell because it's not getting enough air behind it to really be performing optimally, but I don't think that this is quite as strong as the PNPNs were, you know, like in 1887 or something like that, but it's still pretty strong. You know what, maybe it is as powerful, I don't know, it's been a while since I've used an 1887. This has a nice range of speeds on it. Perhaps uh, TPI should take some lessons here from Lakewood. Because this is quiet and calm enough to use even in a bedroom. This is a really nice low speed. Alright, we'll go back to Hine and we'll do a spin down. The powerful motor it gets right up to speed. Yeah, those bearings need to be serviced. That should uh, spin down for a little bit longer than that, I would think. Okay, uh, let's see if we can get a startup sound without wrecking the shop here. I think we're going to have some stuff blowing off the table here. Anyways, here's high. Oh yeah, I definitely have never never really cleaned or serviced this at all. That's filthy in there. Well, I guess I know what uh, I got to do next. Here's high. Oh, something's loose in there. I don't know what that is though. It's got a pretty cool startup sound in high. Okay, now we'll do medium. leaves just fell. They were up there, I think. Okay, and here's low. Oh, 
Okay, so we're going to have to capture the stirrups down again after servicing because I think that buzzing sound may have kind of tarnished the stirrup sound. Anyways, so there's that, the Lakewood HV-18C from 2006.